to the Widget Online video tutorial for creating a visual schedule. Now that we have signed in to Widget Online, we are going to now demonstrate how to create the visual schedule. First, we need to click Create a Grid. There are plenty of grid templates to choose from and they can be created in either English or French by changing the default document language to French. This option is found in Settings in the top right hand corner of the page. There are several options to choose from for creating a grid. We are looking at templates in the Timetables and Planners section. Day planners will help students transition from class to class or task to task. For the purpose of this video, we will be using a daily schedule with times template. A daily schedule with times grid will create a timetable with six slots and time for each day of the week. The Today Planner template will create planners for students with five activity slots. The Weekend Planner will create planners for the weekend with four activity slots. The Daily Schedule template makes a timetable with six slots for each day of the week. There are also custom daily and custom daily schedules with times. These templates will create a daily timetable for students with a custom number of activities and time slots. All of these templates can be used to help students transition in their school day. Other features available include Now and Next, or First Then, or Sequencing Cards. These can be helpful for students requiring first then language in their day-to-day -day schedule. Additionally, there are school timetables that can be created and customized to support students with managing their day-to-day -day schedules in school. As you can see, we are now working from the daily schedule with times. I have preloaded these timetables in at 9 o'clock and 10 o'clock with circle and math. You can see we're working on Monday. To add images, simply search from the search toolbox, drag the image, and then name it in the text box. When finished, you can save your work, produce the PDF, or print. Save as.